Hi, counselors. Welcome to our second powwow this year. Today's agenda uh, for powwow uh, will be as follows. We will be touching on the release of the Expo 14 results. We have also a special item for the SEC4 counselors. We will be confirming the council initiates to junior student counselors, and finally, the junior student counselors to students counselors. Today's session will be quite a short session. All right, so on our first item, we will be releasing the results of the 14th Student Council Executive Committee. The applicants for the 14th Student Council at school have worked very hard for the past few months. They have undergone and planned for exco trials, whereby their leadership skills were tested and went through rigorous interviews. Here are the selection values for exco that has been communicated to them. The exco mentors or the council mentors are looking for ex for counselors who are available to commit their time and effort at a higher level. People who have humility and are willing to learn and are able to adapt to various situations and counsellors who are credible, positive role models to their peers. Being in next school, it's not about how good you are sometimes. Individually, you need to have those qualities mentioned previously, but more importantly, we are looking for a team with people who complement each other's strengths and weaknesses and work well together, just like a puzzle that fits well together. This exco team must look out for one another and have synergy as they plan for various projects and events and grow in the process. Last week, we went through the presidential elections and this morning, the new Exco 14 president, Natasha, has addressed us. I would now like to release the results for the rest of the Exco 14. This is the structure of the Student Council Exco in PHI. The EXCO is led by the president and his or her two vice presidents. Then we have three heads of council level, one for each level, who will be largely in charge of helming the powwows, um, our termly powwow sessions. There will be two heads of media who will be mainly in charge of the videos and the photography for the various council events, two heads of information who will be in charge of the morning duties and taking minutes for council and school events. Finally, we have two heads of logistics who will be in charge of the logistics for council and council events. This is our newly appointed EXCO 14 who will start work in office from 19th of April after investiture. Do take some time to look at it. On behalf of the council mentors, I just want to say that we are so proud of you, everyone who took the challenge and stepped up to apply for it. There is still a chance for the secretaries to be appointed as senior student counsellors next year. So do work hard, serve well, and look out for that. And please don't be too disappointed if you did not uh, get it. Okay, moving on. On a more personal note, I would like to thank the outgoing EXCO 13, who will officially be stepping down after Student Leaders Investiture on 18th of April. Thank you for your dedicated service to the council and to the school. You have been such great role models to your peers, and we are really sad to see you go. But we are also glad that we will be passing on the baton for you to serve elsewhere after you have graduated from Page High. And on the same note, today is the last powwow for our SEC force. And we have a little surprise for you. Please enjoy.
XCO 13, this is Alice from Facey 5. Being in XCO must have been difficult with all other things going on in school, so thank you for sacrificing your own time to serve Peitai, for taking on the challenge of leading the council. Thank you for your hard work, for contributing so much to make our school a better place. Thank you for guiding us juniors, for being so friendly and encouraging, inspiring more leaders to be like you guys. So thank you XCO13 for your consistent service. Enjoy this last powwow, do well for your national exams. Although xco 13 training will end, your leadership journey will continue and has just started. So so on on this exciting adventure as the leader. Hi XCO13, I'm Isabella from 2C3 and I'd like to thank you all for your hard work and extra time that you have put into helping us organize events. Everybody has had a lot of fun thanks to you. I don't think we would have gotten this far without you and we are so thankful for your help. You made the sequence feel welcomed and excited to come to school every day. When you leave X school, it will just feel incomplete without you guys as you have made a huge impact on our school life. Once again, thank you for all your help and I hope you continue to strive. Hello everyone. As you know, X school 13 is going to step down soon. So, I'm here to thank X school 13 for the contribution made towards the school and making it a better environment. You guys did such a wonderful job one of which is inspiring many people to take up leadership and joining the student council. Your work will not be forgotten. ESCO 14 will not let you guys down. We will continue the legacy of the Peitai Student Council Committee. We will make the school an even better place. I would like to thank Bank personally for being such a great president and mentoring me during my pre rally days. Lastly, I would like to say that ESCO 13 has been a wonderful batch of excos. You guys have such a strong bond with each other. Overall, you guys did really well, and I wish you all the best in your national exams. Hello, um, I'm Adelia, and I'm here because I'd like to thank all of you, except for councillors and exco 13, for your service and efforts to the student council and the school. To exco 13, thank you for your efforts in taking the time to ensure discipline and leading your fellow student councillors in council projects. And to all set 4 councillors, I'm sure that you guys have been a part of many different kinds of projects and I'd like to thank you guys for all of your hard work that you guys have put in. I wish you guys all the best for your upcoming national exams. Ciao! Hi Tech 4 Student Council, I'm Izzin from Class 2C3 and also part of the Tech 2 Council batch this year. Since I was a Tech 1, you guys did a very very big part in my experience in Peitai and I would love to thank you guys for that. I'm glad that I got closer to most of you guys during the SOC 22 and I'm also glad to get a chance to work with you guys before you guys leave the school. Um, I will never forget all the hard work you guys put in into making Peitai a better place for all students. Thank you for all your hard work and please remember to take care of yourself too. Hi everyone, I am Natasha from Class 3C4 and I am here today to say a big thank you message to SEC4 counsellors and EXCO 13. To the SEC4 counsellors, you guys have definitely made service to the school and your efforts are definitely recognised and I know that because we are all very appreciative of what you've done for the school with your student council projects and being a leader for your peers and your juniors. And to Exco 13, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys because you guys have definitely made a great commitment to the school like for example like staying long hours after school even after a long and tiring day and you guys are literally the best because you do it because you want to improve the well-being of the students and I want to say a special thank you to Ejin because you are very welcoming and a lovely personality and you have been welcoming me and other people into X school, like trying to improve our leadership skills. And I also want to say thank you to Isaac because you're very open and you are someone that guides people along their leadership journey. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys and you guys are literally the best. Hi Sec4 counsellors, it's indeed been a long journey and watching you grow as your level council mentor since you were Sec1 has been my privilege. I've enjoyed the fun times spent with all of you, from the camps that we went for, the events, to the interactive powwow sessions that we had together. Actually, since all of you were Sec 1, I remember telling my fellow council mentors 
how much hope and potential I have in all of you. And I hope that through this journey in SL, each one of you will grow in confidence and will be able to lead others in your various spheres in life. To all my EXCO 13 members, I am so thankful for each one of you. You have truly been an awesome bunch and I know that I can always trust and count on you to do your best in everything. You have definitely modelled the way and set a very high bar for your counsellors and the future EXCOs. On behalf of the council mentors, I want to say that we are so proud of you, each one of you. We have seen how much you have grown in competence and care for each other. May you never forget this awesome journey and continue to light others up as you journey on. Finally, I would like to end off today's powwow to confirm the SEC 2 and 3 Council Initiates who will be invested as junior student councillors during investiture on 18 April. These are the councillors who will be invested as junior student councillors during investiture on 18 April. You will also be getting your student councillor badge then. Please take a look at the names. Okay, so we have the SEC, uh, we have one C4 Hazel, okay, who is our DSA um, student counselor. Okay, and these are from 2B1. Okay, moving on, I'll be going to 2B2. These are those who will be getting their student counselor badge from 2B2. And from 2C1, from 2C2, From 2C3, and also from 2C3 and 2C4. From 2C4, and from 2C5. Um, these are the SEC trees, uh, student, uh, student council initiates who will be invested as well as junior student counselors. Okay, so congratulations to these counselors. You will be receiving your badge during investiture. Okay. Uh, moving on, for these counselors, we'll be passing you your council blues, your blue council tea, on 22nd of April on Friday, 12.40 p.m. Uh, we will meet outside the council room to get your council blues. Okay, so uh, these council initiates, SEC 2 and 3 um, junior student councillors, please uh, meet Mr. Wong uh, outside the council room on Friday. Okay. Um, finally, for the junior student councillors, uh, SEC 3 and 4 junior student councillors, okay, you will be invested uh, during the um, student council, student leaders investiture um, during uh, on 18 April, okay, and you'll be promoted to a student councillor status from JSD. Okay, but you already have gotten your student councillor badges, so it will just be an acknowledgement to the school that you have been promoted to student councillor, which also means a higher leaps achievement level. All right, we have reached the end of Power Two. Um, today is a really short session. We do not have level time. Um. I just want to remind um, all the student counsellors um, that I'm checking your late coming um, data and um, your discipline record. So please make sure that you are um, on task, that your late coming data is in check. Okay, you should not have more than three per semester. If not, you'll be put on probation once it has reached six. Okay. All right. So have a great week ahead.